ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday. We are going on another journey with makeup, and this time we're gonna be doing a beautiful bronzy look. Summertime for sure, all year round, absolutely. And I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Tons of techniques in this video. It's very hard to put it all in a title. So I'm using a cream shadow topped with a powder shadow. I'm using a cream bronzer that you've highly requested that I show you how I use it. And I wanted to show you before we start off, yes, I'm going to do a little deviation before I get into my makeup tutorial today, but I feel like it's important. And I want to show you what I do first thing in the morning before I, I even have coffee. So, this is about elevating my vibration, about setting my intentions for the day, about focusing and really about inner beauty. And that's what this channel is all about. We just kind of gloss it up with our makeup and our skincare and our hair care. So first I have the Italian still mineral water I get from Whole Foods. It's very inexpensive. It's like $1.19 and I put it into my keep cup, which is a glass cup that actually I got in one of these boxes like nine years ago. I've kept it. I love it. It has a little pink rubber ring around it. I only drink out of glass. So I have that here. And then one of my followers told me about this rose, pure rose, rose nectar. So over on Instagram, I'm always sharing really great things that I find, beauty, whatever it is. And this is absolutely one of them that I, I love. And it was such a great recommendation from my follower. This has 144 Bulgarian roses in it. It's 32 ounces or it's 32 servings, eight full ounces. And this says beauty, mood, health protects and rejuvenates your skin, raises your vibration, elevates your mood, cleanses liver, and improves digestion, promotes cellular health and longevity. Yes, please. So I used to measure it out, but now I just eyeball it and I do about a tablespoon. So I just add a little bit in like that. Keep this in the refrigerator. I like it to be cold. And then something else that I've been adding to my water in the morning is the Bach original flower remedies. So if you are familiar with Bach, it's a homeopathic um, way of changing your mood, helping with whether it's depression, whether it is being optimistic. This came in a three pack. So it's helping you to, with sweet chestnut, be optimistic, gorse, have hope, and then the star of Bethlehem, neutralize grief. I thought it was a nice pack. It was less expensive than buying them individually. So I take the be optimistic and I take the dropper and I get it full, add it to my water, and then I set my intentions for the day. Before I do coffee, before I start looking at my schedule, what have you, I take a sip. It's so good, it's so good. I, this is just something I do every day. I wanted to share it with you because ladies, it is so important your mental health. Mental health, is everything before you add on the makeup, before you do your hair, before you do your skincare. It's all about really spending the time and working on your mental health and getting yourself centered and getting yourself where you need to be and working on those issues. So you know I'm very big into that. So we are going to go right into now after I showed you something that's gonna elevate your mood. It's going to start your day off wonderful. And then we're gonna go into the icing on the cake, the makeup. So let's start off with, you know, that I have to prep my skin ever. Biomedic skin pads, my peel pads are, if you haven't seen them enough, you probably are like, okay, we get that you use this, but I work my skin within my makeup and I want you to see everything that I do. So you can see I have a little bit of that flushed look on my skin, azelaic acid, very, very gentle, caviar lime. It's going to help really nicely exfoliate my skin, but you can see I feel a little bit of tingling, not too much. Then I'm gonna go into a new product Ever just came out with, with, which is under their Clarify Collection, Skin Perfecting Serum. This smells like cucumbers. It is so beautiful. This serum goes on, great for the summer. Mm, this would be really nice to put in the refrigerator. So I'm putting this on to hydrate my skin, but also be very light. You know, the summertime I've told you, I cannot layer too many products on my skin because it is just <laughs> too much here in South Florida. Mm, but this really gives you that hydration. It feels like putting, it feels like I just cut a cucumber and I am rubbing it on my skin with all of that water and hydration. It feels so good. 
Now that my serum is on, I'm gonna go in with Kiehl's. This is a product I've been using on my eyes, powerful strength, line reducing and dark circle diminishing vitamin C eye serum. It has great, great reviews. So I have really been liking using this eye cream. I just put it on very nicely underneath my eyes. I do not drag all underneath this area because we know we need to really protect that thin area and not drag and start trying to pull underneath the eyes. Now that I have almost all of my skincare on, I'm gonna take the Bobbi Brown. This is the Face Base Vitamin Enriched, and I'm gonna just take a Q-tip and take it out of the jar, because I don't like putting my fingers into a jar. And this is going to be really nice because it's not too greasy. It's not going to add tons of layers onto the skin. It's just a really nice way to prep the skin prior to putting on your makeup. You're gonna get a really nice hydration and also priming. Now that the face base is on, I'm gonna let everything soak in, put on a little vitamin E. My lips love to be dry lately. Not sure why, I drink a lot of water. But vitamin E, nice and smooth, nice lip treatment. Now everything feels like I'm ready to go. So we are going to look at the eyes and we're gonna do something really cool today, ladies. So I'm gonna take two different Bobbi Brown cream shadow sticks. These are beautiful. Golden bronze is my absolute favorite. And then I'm gonna take nude beach. So it's like a pinky nude. So this is very pretty. Then after that, I'm going to take my choices eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use the middle color and I'm just it's gonna give so much dimension it's gonna be really really pretty a fun look you can just do the cream shadows if you want you can add over a shadow powder it's just a really interesting way to layer the product it's going to last all day and I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna take the golden bronze I love this product because it's creamy, I'm gonna just start at the base. I don't need to do an eye primer because this is a creamy, it's going to just really cover my, my eyelid very beautifully. You can see just how creamy, do you see? It just really looks beautiful. Not too much sheen. It's not gonna to be too much glitter or anything like that. It's not glittery. It's just a nice, beautiful sheen. You know I love sheen on over 50 and you can move this with your finger, which is one of my favorite aspects of working with a cream shadow. I don't need that much. You can add on as much as you want, as powerful as you want. You can take it underneath the eye too, just a little bit to give that, that balance. So I'm going to just do it like this. Oh, it's so beautiful. And then I'm gonna take such a simple look too. It's so fast. This is the nude beach. I'm gonna just take it above, it's matte. So I'm gonna just take it above and I'm going to mix it in with this golden bronze color. So it's all, it's all like marrying together. So it doesn't look like I missed out on doing the top part. So now I'm gonna take my eyeshadow brush. I'm just using my essential makeup brush kit. That's very easy, 100% vegan. Brush is very, very simple to use. I don't want you to have a lot of brushes that you don't know how to use. That's why I created this little nine brush set. So I'm gonna go into the middle color, color of choices and I'm going to just bump this up a little with this bronze shadow. It's going to intensify it just a little bit, not too much, but it's going to give it that depth and that dimension. You can obviously just wear this by itself, but I wanted to give just a little more richness to the eye. So now that the cream shadow is on, layered with the powder eyeshadow, I'm going to do a duo with my lash curler, traditional eyelash curler and my heated eyelash curler. So I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna wait until the top, the red little dot turns white and then there's like little red slats on the side and the back here and they will turn white also. So I'm gonna wait for that to just heat up. But in the meantime, we're gonna take our traditional lash curler, curl my lashes. This is just what I like to do to first give them, my lashes are strong enough so I can use the the traditional eyelash curler, and then I'm going to use the heated eyelash curler after I put the mascara on. So I'm just gonna let it heat up, taking my brown coal pencil. Again, you know that I love going to just the base of the lashes. So we're gonna go to the base, 
and we're really going to work it in between those lashes. If you want to make your lashes look thicker, if you want to make your eye look really defined but not heavy, not dragged down and looks older and aged, you're going to want to go in between your lashes. You're almost coloring in in between those spaces between your lashes and get it on really nice. And I think it's very easy for us ladies that maybe have shakier hands or can't see as well to do little. Do you see how I'm just going in? I'm going little, little, little. I'm not going like, okay, let me try to go from the corner of my eye, make a totally perfect line to the end. That's never going to work. So you're gonna just take little little strokes, just little strokes and match them up, which is really nice. So you have a lot of room to really perfect that lash line with the eyeliner because you're not trying to do too much, cover too much territory with one swipe. Again, don't go from the corner all the way to the end. Go and do little almost like you're making little dashes, come back and fill them in. So it almost is like you can't make a mistake because you're doing it very precisely and you're just building it up. Taking a little underneath my eye over the cream shadow that I did, because I want that smokier look. I want a defined line underneath. If you want to make the eye look open and not as smoky, I take a nude waterline pencil. This is really a great little trick to make your eyes look whiter, make them look more open. All you do is take the nude and run it across your inner waterline. It's going to open up the eye. It's such a great trick. So if you have redness on the inner rim of your eye and you feel like when you wake up, you look tired and then you put your makeup on and you're like, wait, <laughs> My makeup looks great, but my eyes still look, it's like red ring around. Use a nude waterline pencil and just do a light touch underneath the eye or on that waterline and you will see a dramatic difference. This is one of our makeup artist tricks that we do because you can just see, you can see how it just whitens the eye and makes it look more open and it just looks more refreshed. You can also take a white eyeliner pencil if you want to and use that for the waterline, depending on what you want. Do you want more of a nude? Do you want more of a white? Maybe at nighttime you want a white. It depends on the level of redness that you have. So now here we go with our mascara. I'm going to take my mascara and I'm gonna to go to the base of my lashes and I'm going to coat. So basically I want to front load my mascara onto my lashes. So I don't wanna just go tips, ladies. I've seen this a lot in my makeup classes. Go to the base, wiggle, and then pull through because you want to have most of the mascara at the base. Now listen, if you like to have mascara, you know, and have more of a spidery look and heavier lashes, that's fine. Then you can do it more of the opposite way, but I like to just get enough at the base so I really have that weight of my mascara giving more of an appearance of a liner. So I always want to keep building up that base so it makes my lashes look thicker and it makes my lashes, my eyes look more defined. You'll also see my really long lashes, like right here, right here, which is really nice. From the lash serum that I use, you know your lashes go through these growth cycles. There's three different stages of hair growth. So I love when they start getting really long because it gives me those points, like almost like that starburst look to my lashes. So they makes it look like I'm actually wearing false lashes when I'm not. So that's why I always constantly keep up with my lash serum because I just feel like it's almost like taking vitamins for your lashes. Mascara is on, heated eyelash curler is ready to go. So what I do is I just go to the base and then I mold my lashes up now that they have mascara on them. The heat with the mascara really works nicely if you apply it the way I did. You're not putting on too much on the lashes or else when you put heat to it, it will start clumping. So you want to, again, front load it at the base and then have your lashes be coated, but not too much. So you can take the heated eyelash curler and really get that all day staying power. 
Now, don't be afraid. I don't have anything on my face. This might look dark to everybody that's looking at me thinking, oh my gosh, your eyes look so dark, your skin so light. It will all come together. I'm just taking a little brow fix and I'm gonna go and just comb my brows up and cover any slight grays that might be peeping through. So this is going to just give my, my brows a little bit more structure and have them stay up and glossed all day. You can use clear, you can use blonde, you can use cocoa like I'm using. Now we're moving on to skin, my favorite part, because I love to kind of neutralize out darkness and get your, I just feel so much more confident when my skin looks good. So before I do anything, I'm gonna go in with Fiercely Smooth. This is in clear. This is a face primer. It's going to blur all of my lines. It's going to really have everything go on very smoothly on my skin. I feel like it's a really great step before you put on any of your con your concealers or your color correctors. So you have a really nice gliding on the skin. Your skin's blurred. You can wear this by itself if you want to, just to give your skin that extra glass-like look and fill in all the fine lines, the pores. Everything looks really, really beautiful. It's a matte finish. So we see by working with my skin that I'm working with some redness and I'm working with darkness underneath my eyes of course what's new right so I have two different color correctors I have the no redness which is a green which is going to cancel out the red and I have just peachy which is a peachy color that is going to cancel out grays and blues for me so almost like a mosaic when I apply this to my face because I have to target the areas that really need it so I can swipe just peachy right underneath my eyes like this and come down I could, if I really felt like my no redness was really a big deal or my redness was a big deal there, I could do a little redness here and then the just peachy. But I'm gonna just swipe this underneath my eyes from the stick, medium to full coverage, very, very smooth. It's not heavy, but you can, it's buildable. I'm gonna take a little ever sponge so much easier than taking the big beauty blender and this is a regular beauty blender and then ever came out with little eye ones i don't know maybe maybe beauty blender does have those i don't know i haven't seen them so i've been using this little baby one which is really nice because i can get up into this corner that's the most important thing ladies is getting up into this corner and getting that darkness taken care of because we seem to have that darkness from the shadow of our nose right up in there. So I bring this down because I want to give, I want it to be blended beautifully. I don't want to have just a half moon right underneath my eye. I feel like it draws more attention when I would apply my product like that. It just doesn't look good. So I bring it all the way down. And the reason why I'm using a wet beauty sponge is I want to sheer it out a little because I'm going to be going over with Lighten Up. It's going to be a beautiful concealer. And I want this to be just sheer enough, but giving me a little color correction before I do my concealer. I'm going in with Lighten Up. I feel like today, for some reason, I'm working with more, more darkness. So I'm gonna go right from the, the corner of my eye here, just down, and this is a liquid highlighter. So I'm gonna go right out like this, and I'm gonna let it sit. Because it is a liquid, I want it to kind of set up before I go back over and blend it in with my skin. Now that I have let the Lighten Up set into my skin, I'm going to just give it a little push in with my foundation buffing brush. This is nice. I don't want to move the product around too much, but I do want it to go in nicely to the skin. I don't want to use my fingers. I don't want to really work with anything besides the brush, just pressing it into my skin, giving it a really beautiful finish because this brush is really soft. It's dense enough that it's going to push the product in, but it's not going to move it all around and leave little swirl marks. Have you noticed that before? If you use a brush and then you start seeing brush marks on your face, it's not. that's not the look you're going for. So just pressing this in, getting lighten, lightening this area on my face, which makes me very happy. And then I'm gonna go right into my foundation or actually my BB cream today. Just gonna to mix my BB cream with the fair and then the light medium. I decided to do that because it's summer 
coming up and I want it to be a little bit darker and I feel like working with the fair and working with the light medium it balances itself out taking a new foundation buffing brush gonna mix those together so I'm getting a little color to my skin you can see it's actually very pretty I'm going to just press over my lighten up but then I can move the product around where I don't have my color corrector and my highlighter or my lighten up concealer there I have buffed my BB cream into the skin beautiful I'm going to just give it a little setting with my translucent HD powder just t-zone I like doing this because I do get a little oilier especially under hot lights you'll start seeing a little bit of sheen underneath my nose area but I like to just powder it up very very light triple milled you're not adding a lot of weight to the the face so that's what's really nice set underneath the eyes very easy you're not adding lots of color or it's not sitting on the skin because it is so fine so you're not adding that powder look you're just adding a little matte to the t-zone if you tend to get more oily or shiny during the day so i easily could take a nude lip pencil and nude i mean that would be kind of like the way to go right so we're going to just nude everything out but i don't want to i want to add color especially yes i'm going in the golds bronzes against what many say with gray hair silver hair grand bray hair whatever color hair you want to call me um, so I'm going to add color. I want to add a little color to the face to liven it up and not stay just all monochromatic within the bronzy family, nude family. So I'm taking Poppy. This is going to be a wonderful in the coral family, just slightly giving my lips that beautiful shape. <laughs> so you see, I just fill in my lip a little bit with the pencil so it's not going to be just the line around your lip and then your lipstick or lip gloss i wanted to kind of fill in and then i'm taking beach house and i'm going to just go right over and then i'm going to even though this is high gloss i'm going to just take defiance and put a tad lip gloss on my lips so I love the pop of lip gloss on my lips. It's kind of my duo of a lipstick and then a lip gloss. Now there's something that I haven't done that you have requested for me to show you how I use it. And that is the Chanel Cream Bronzer. This is really a beautiful product. I bought it after doing some research. I wanted to see what it was like. It's interesting because it looks like this is going to be creamy because it has those ripples in it but it's not, it's actually solid. So when you take a foundation buffing brush and you go into it, you're really not picking up that much product, which is nice. So you're not moving the product around. It's not like it's creamy, like, like think of like a, a concealer or something that would be moving with you if it was like a, a cream product. It's nice and solid. So I just swirl a foundation buffing brush in it like like so it smells amazing and then what i'll do is i will just go where i would normally bronze my skin what i have found is that it is not that aggressive with the color which made me happy because i was a little afraid to you know this is a universal color so i was kind of afraid like what's going to happen is it going to be like too much right when i put it on but i like that you can blend it because it's a cream and i'll just go down on my jawline here and then i'll just take a little bit up at the top so it's really, it's, it's nice because you can control the level of application or how much color you want to have on your skin. See, it's not that much. I think the brush is going to be your very big key of how you apply it. But I know that they have a brush. I think it's, I don't know if it's a, they do have a brush, but I felt like using a buffing brush that was just small enough, dense enough, would pick up enough product, which it does. I don't want it to be bigger. And that's really how I use this product now you could definitely take this if you wanted to have a really beautiful sun-kissed look take it on the eyes do some mascara do some highlighter if you wanted to depending on how you really want to work this product during the summer or all year round of course I like to I like to look like I've been on at Saint Tropez all year round but this is a great product and that's how I use it so the only other thing that I'm gonna do is since I did a cream bronzer I'm gonna do a cream blush this is Palm Beach very easy 
pop it right on the cheeks, goes right into the skin, beautiful. One of my favorites, not only because I live for Palm Beach Island, but this color is like a nice apricot, not too bright, not too deep, not too dark. I use this a lot on my Fierce Aging Ladies because it just livens up the face appropriately. It doesn't go, whoa, too much, or whoa, what happened to the color? There's nothing there, it's too sheer. So this is going to add a really beautiful dimension to, to your face and your, your look. So my hair is on its last legs of my cut and blowout. So it's like a little, it's a little, it's a little dirty. So when that happens, I will take a dry shampoo, sassy and daring. This is called wild. I like this. I like how these smell too. But, but Batiste is, I get them at CVS at the drugstore, or you can go in with Beach Babe texturizing dry shampoo. This is toasted coconut. Ladies, if you love toasted coconut, if you love that beachy smell, go with not your mother's beach babe texturizing or if you want to feel like a little sassy and daring which is what i did today it's a very daring to to um go against the grain don't wear gold if you have silver hair don't wear bronze don't wear browns don't wear oh uh, gosh what else tan don't wear any of these things i don't i don't i don't think that's true and you know what oh, this smells you know what this smells like? It smells like Michael Kors perfume. It's so funny. The, this line definitely smells like certain shampoos to me. All right, so I'm gonna show you another thing too. All right, so when you feel like your hair, maybe there's certain strands that are yellow if you have gray hair, this has been my little secret that I do. I will, you'll see this, see how it comes out white? That's my little secret. I would just, instead of putting it on my root, oh my gosh, no, you know what this smells like? smells like angel perfume. You know how I feel about that, <laughs> but it actually smells good. So I don't mind it. I think it's lighter. It's not so heavy. Um, see, do you see how I can literally change the color of my hair if it's looking dull? You can almost add like stripes in your hair, but that's what I would do when my hair was starting to look dull, especially around here. Look, white ladies, then you work it in, but you're getting, you're getting that whiteness. You're getting that volume. It's really a great, if you got maybe say a little bit of foundation on the side and you're like, I can't get it out. Yes, that's what we do. We do that. Look, I have these beautiful white stripes in my hair and I basically just created them. So this is a beautiful look, ladies. Just don't be stuck in a box. Don't, don't read blog posts or watch YouTube videos and say, Oh, I can't do that. Or they told me I couldn't do that. Who cares? Who cares? Do what you want to do. Play around. Makeup's fun. You don't like it. Wash it off your face. Just enliven yourself with just trying things out and living for today and being happy about your choices and saying, you know what? I love this. I, I think it's, I'm so happy I pushed myself. I did something wild. I did something crazy. I did something different. I mean, ladies, this is your time. Have a little water with your optimistic and your rose nectar. Elevate, vibrate higher, ladies. And until my next video, I'll see you later.